I've met Alex uh, a couple of times, I would say. <laughs> Before he called me one day and said, um, there's a work that we were wondering if you would be interested to play. We started our relationship this way, and so I've played uh, the Cancelli's uh, Sticks. We also played the Schnecke Concerto uh, last year, and now we're doing it again. I am very, very thankful and very happy that I have this opportunity. The Schnecke Concerto is one of the best written uh, viola works there is uh, in the world. This piece has so much feeling and has so much um, character and just a lot of um, unspoken emotions in there. And so I, I always wanted to perform it. I think Schnecke had a very, very clear idea how he wanted to um, write a viola concerto and it's very clever. There is no violin sections in there, but this concerto really is a, all about the color that viola has, the color, the dark, warm color and the emotions that can come through. <laughs> If you know the instrument well, it's like a big violin, but it's a lot harder to project it because it's much bigger, it's much slower. So for the instrument to push its boundary, you have to um, really practice so hard for uh, all the double stops and all the fast playing and a lot of the uh, very, very high notes to come through. It requires so much practicing. but. When you listen to it, you, you really, most of the time, you just listen to the um, magical moments. You forget how difficult it is, but it's very interesting that he managed to write something so difficult, but still very, very magical.